that we, Bill Clinton had been sort of declared the uh, front runner for the Democratic nomination. We're, this is a couple of weeks before the New Hampshire primary. It was people on the cover of Time and Newsweek, and then this tabloid newspaper, The Star, which most people, never, networks have never paid attention to anything they've been in the tabloids. Except on this case, we had heard, people had heard there were rumors around that Clinton had had a number of affairs when he was, he was a skirt chaser, had a number of affairs when he was in Arkansas. So uh, the story get breaks, NBC runs with it, takes it out of the tabloid and says, this newspaper, The Star, is reporting this. And um, it becomes big news, and Clinton can't go anywhere that week without being asked about it. And uh, I had a drink with a woman named Ryan, Ann Reingold, who was an old friend, former CPS person, who was working at the Democratic uh, National Committee for Ron Brown. And we had drinks periodically, and we went out and had a drink to kind of talk, talk politics and CBS gossip and things like that. And um, we both assumed that Nightline was going to do that story on a Thursday night. And because um, Rick Kaplan, who was then the executive producer at ABC, said, yeah, yeah, you know, we're going to try to get Clinton. This is what's going to happen. We thought he was going to be on Nightline. Something happened. He didn't get on Nightline. Uh, the weather was bad in New Hampshire. There was also an execution in, in uh, Arkansas sure. that night. And I think that he did not want to be seen. I think he wanted to pay attention to what was going on. Anyway, next morning, Friday morning, I get a call from Ann Reingold. You guys are next up. You, uh, would you be interested in doing this for uh, Sunday night? We didn't have a broadcast because it was the Super Bowl. And 60 Minutes had been bumped from the lineup. There was a special edition of 48 hours after the, after the game. So I called, um, I called Don and I said, uh, he was in San Francisco, and I said, Don, you know, I just got a call from the, from the Democrats and they, they want to do, uh, they want to know if we were interested in doing Clinton. And he says, we haven't got a show. They said, what would you ask him about? I said, well, I think the only thing to ask him about is Jennifer Flowers. They want to try and, you know, talk it, do the interview, say it once, and then never have to deal with it again. So Don calls, he says, I'll, I'll get back to you. He calls me back and he says, well, I've gotten, um, you know, we've gotten 10 minutes out of the 48 hours thing so we could run it after the game. So then I, st I called, talked to Stephanopoulos, and, and uh, he was so out of it, he didn't even really know there was a game. I said to him, I said, George, you know, we got a problem, you know, because we don't really have a show, you know, but we can, we can run it after the game. And he says, what game? And I said, the Super Bowl. He says, you mean this would run after the Super Bowl? He said, yeah. Everything was set after that. I realized that uh, that they were going to have a, a a big audience, and that uh, that they thought that they could make it work for them. And their their goal really was to try and get it to deal with it once and say we talked about this on 60 Minutes. Um, so that's how I how I how I ended up with it. And so there were two days inter intervening after that, and uh, and I think up until the last day, Mike was still trying to get it. <laughs>